Hey everybody, this is Alzrith, and welcome to Seer's Gambit. This is an auto-battler with some interesting mechanics about it, and it's currently very early in development. This is available on itch.io in browsers only right now. You can also do it through the itch launcher, if I remember correctly. But let's go ahead, and we're just going to jump into a new game. I already did the tutorial on another kind of recording session I did. So let's hope everything is working properly now. And because last time there were some bugs, but let's go ahead and jump on in. And we have a starting character who is Ice Merelda. This is a random character you get at the start of the runs. And then I'm going to turn my headphones down just a little bit because that is loud to me. But they each have different kind of ranges. You may notice that we have flashing dots around us while we're hovering over it. Blue is going to be the range of, I believe that is your, I think it's this skill right here. And then our... No, this is our main skill, this is our blue skill, and then this is our other skill. And basically, we have various different abilities in here. We also have things we can unlock by getting certain combos. It's all kinds of stuff. But, this is Ice Merelda. You could get any number of other characters from this. We also have Blossom, which we can recruit right now. Epic Level, which gives us three of these little things, which are basically your combo setups. So if we have multiple defenders, we'll get Overgrowth on her. If we get a mix of Thief, Executioner, and Adventurer, we can get Thorn Burst on her. And we want to build up to a few of these, but we have limited slots, or we're supposed to. There was a bug for a while that let us have more than that. But I'm going to go with Blossom out of all of these. This is an aggressive character who shoots arrows. This one shoots little fireballs and is kind of fun. But we need to get to higher levels to actually take advantage of it. So getting a healer that can actually do damage is beneficial to me. And also, by the way, we can pet the cat. We can poke the old man. <laughs> can do all kinds of stuff. And let's go ahead and bump this up to two times speed. Now, whenever we get into combat, we are not completely passive. So I do want to get about, uh, yeah, we'll go right there. That's going to get us close enough. Tip the cow, move the hay bale, play with that, open the door. There's all kinds of clickable stuff you can mess with. But whenever we get into battle, you'll notice these little pips at the top start turning blue. Let's begin the battle and you'll see, oh, that one already turned on and we can launch out our little ice thing and stuff like that. Going straight for our nymph there, which is unfortunate, but let's grab bonus items okay so we have hurricane which is improved move speed improved attack cooldown and health i'll go ahead and drop that on her so now we have a piece of equipment on her that gives us various bonuses we can do that with each and every one of the characters green is rare gold is epic and i think there is just yeah just basic is white i don't think there's a tier above this that is storm cloud See, you are able to do some stuff. Why does it not think I have nature? I happen to know I have nature. Okay, so we have healing. I'm trying to think of what all we need. This is elementalist and nature. So I think I will go ahead and grab that. These both are actually fairly good as well. It's just... We're not being given the right stuff for their abilities yet. And the way I'm getting that to pop up is by right-clicking, by the way. So right now we are doing okay. We have the storm clouds over them. We have double cloud, thank goodness. We're probably not going to get bouncing lightning and stuff like that unless we get really lucky later on. It's okay. Okay, and yes, each combat is going to be slightly different as far as what positions are available. So you're gonna to have to arrange them every single time, unfortunately, but I think we'll be okay. I'm afraid of that guy. Cause he's gonna come straight for, yep, straight for our nymph. She is a very good character though. Oh, and we rooted him, yay. Easy enough. And yes, we can preserve our ultimate skills onto the next tier. So let's go ahead and continue on. Probably going to have, yes, boon of whatever. Legend says that the hollowed place was grown, not built from a single seed gifted by the nature deity to a mortal who had shown some great kindness. We received the boon of thorns. That's pretty much the only thing we can do. It gives us thorns over the coming next three fights and applies bleed to all of our characters, which kind of sucks. I'd much rather have this one, which gives armor for everyone by 15, but we don't have the gold for it. And Penance, I haven't actually gone for, but it would probably be solid as well. 
Not looking forward to the bleed, though. Because that kind of sucks. But we only have 26 gold, so it's not going to really do much for us. Oh, and only two enemies. And yes, we can actually right-click on the enemies as well and see what their various kind of effects are. That one just has a bow attack. This one has two abilities, Hungry Dive and Feather Flap. I believe it can blind us. Yeah, over here does a bit of a blind effect. So we want you there, and we want to kind of just position ourselves to take as much damage into these enemies as possible, because we're going to be taking a little bit of bleeding damage early on, which sucks. There you go, buddy. Easy enough. And yeah, the oh, audio overlap is a little bit weird. Because we're actually getting two tracks of audio right now. It's just an odd bug. Let's go ahead and drop you in there. We will go with... Oh, and the yellow outline, by the way, tells us we have active abilities. So it's not entirely passive as far as being an auto-battler. It's just an auto-battler that you play your characters when appropriate. So, for example, if I don't want to use her ability just yet because she's not close to anybody, I don't have to. And thankfully, we do have healers. So we don't have to worry quite as much about them just dying outright. And as far as this goes, ah, nothing too amazing here. We just have boosted attack damage. And no, unfortunately, as of right now, this might be a feature that's added in the future. You can't combine items to upgrade them. So it's not really high priority for me. 50% chance to regain armor on damage. That actually seems semi-useful. I am going to put that on... I think we'll put it on Cloud Girl for now. We can swap them around, but I don't want to do that too often. We do actually want to save some of our money. Oh, another Boon of Thorns. Cool. First time I've actually gotten the same shrine twice in a row. That's something odd. I haven't had that happen before. Let's go ahead and begin battle. I'm going to move my fan so it's actually blowing on me instead of just off into the corner of the room. So you might hear a change in the audio. I don't know. And what did we get? Apply poison for... Oh, eh, we'll just throw it on you. It's better than nothing. And yes, we can click on the chickens. I just find it interesting to see what all I can click on. And we can turn on the lamp as well. So we have... Yeah, I, I would rather have permanent boons up here. Okay, against these, we'll kind of park against you. We want to get this this guy in range, because this is a monk. They actually do healing. Healing prayer over here is, yeah, going to heal their allies, their lowest health ones, which can be a pain. So begin battle. Well, he didn't get it off very quickly, so that's fine. We don't even need to use any of our abilities. And we got a chest from that, so that might actually improve our gear. And if we don't use the gear, it just goes and gets sold. Ooh, glorious shield. I think it's only a 5% chance, but I think it's better than what you have. Okay, let's unequip toxic personality. Put that on you. I think I like having that armor gain on you. I think I might end up... Nah, we'll just let that one get sold. Ta-da! And we get how much gold from it? Eh, not too bad. Ten gold. Oh, man. Duchess Gloria. It's a, that is just a straight-up healer. We don't need another healer, but royalty and faith. I mean, we do need royalty for you. We do have faith there. I don't think this is a good pick, but another big healer is always welcome. Unfortunately, we don't have any tanks right now. <laughs> Otherwise, this could be better. Okay. So, you guys are basically our front line. You guys are our healers, so you need to go there. She's going to be in a lot of pain because she is not tanky at all. In fact, I might go like this and let the healer tank, which is not really the best of ideas, but it's there. 
Go ahead and drop out a little bit of AoE healing. We're going to save hers because hers is a big heal. Get rid of his little friend there. And we're staying on top of the healing. It's not the worst ever. It's going to get rough whenever we get on to day two. Because day two is going to be a lot more pain. Okay, so we got another one of these on damage. We've got on kill. Armor on attack is nice. Especially if we get someone who's like really fast, that can be really handy. But I think we want to go for... I think we'll just skip this one now that I think about it. I don't think... No, I don't think I can click and break anything. It's just not going to happen. Oh, and another one. Why are we just getting this one? I want, this, I want to show off the other shrines. There's like five shrines. Okay, so you go there. You are hurt a little bit. We'll drop a heal as soon as we get in. And begin battle. You're going to do your heal right off. You're going to do a heal as well. Okay, get you to freeze them. Oh, and we somehow killed the guy over there. I could use the rogue fairly soon as well. They have a really powerful ability, but we've reached the end of this round. So there's our four characters. And I think the background music is supposed to stop for this because we're getting the jaunty music on top of the game music. Make a selection. Enemies get improved attack damage. That is probably the last thing I wanted, but you've foreseen three paths for us. Ah, 75 health, metalize when defenders lose health, they heal three armor. I think we just go for vitalized. Just give them a lot more health. These only apply to defenders, so it only applies to the Ice Merelda. This applies to everybody, so I'm going to go with that for now. If we were going for a specific team, sure. And unfortunately, I can't combine characters to make them stronger. Oh, and we got... Oh, they're all common. Ghouls. So we get everybody freeze. You need fire for that one. That's not exactly what we're going to have. You don't get anything from it. And we could use a commoner, but we don't have anybody who's rare enough to be a commoner. Uh, but... And none of these get abilities. Yeah, they don't get abilities by just jumping in. I don't see any abilities that we could be going for. One thing I would love is the ability to like flag one of these to say, hey, we're looking for that, but it's fine. And you that would actually put you close to Holy Cascade. But I think we just want you. You're going to go there. And he's not going to be that great, but he'll he'll work for some of the stuff. And we got everybody free, so that that's a nice unlock. Do we actually interact with anybody besides the old guy? I don't think so. We're gonna die here. <laughs> I don't think I can take two of these guys. They summon my own man. They summon basically mushrooms. And they have overwhelmed me half the times I've played this. Okay, so get you there. Begin battle. I'm hoping... Yeah, they're just aggressively spawning them. Okay, so get you freezing them. Get a heal going. Get you to teleport to that guy. He didn't do it, which is unfortunate. And yeah, they're overwhelming the amount that I can summon, which is actually pissing me off. There, we got behind him and we're stabbing him. Okay, you need to stay back there and keep fighting him. Because that'll get rid of one of the spawners, hopefully. I need one of my heals to come up. Is we're keeping up with this sort of, but not entirely. Okay, so you have yours going. Get them rooted. Okay, so we, we are slowly bringing them down. I think we might actually be able to beat this. He's keeping them distracted back there, which is good for me. 
And there's the clouds doing their work. Okay, so I think we almost have this guy down. And I don't care too much if someone dies. I'd rather they not, but... At the same time, I think we're okay. There you go. Finally. That could have gone worse. Could have gone better. That is on attack, gain armor. I think we throw that on fingers because he's a relatively fast attacker. We don't have one for her yet, but we'll, we'll get items for her eventually. Oh, and we have options. We got Guard Fernandez, which would give us another shield and a purple swirly. Thought we needed a purple swirly for something. Arr, I don't see one. Oh, we need it for a lure. So I think he is actually our choice here. Da da da. So that gives us access to nothing on you. Everybody freeze and a lure, which makes her able to be taunting enemies. Doesn't give anything to you. Nothing to you. You'll probably get replaced if we find a higher tier thief. And he's just not getting anything for a long while unless we get a merchant, which I actually have not seen. I've not seen a merchant in this, so I think it's just one that I'm only able to get by upgrading things. Okay, so you two are up there. I'm actually going to try to surround. Like that, maybe? Have these two in the very back ready to heal. And no, I can't choose who they're going to attack. Let's get some thunders going. I think we'll hold off on using our healer abilities. This one actually has a side effect of thorns, which would speed up battles a little bit. But I don't think we need it right now. Okay, so you get to use your special. And I think we're good. Send out the clouds. Zap. <laughs> Not very much damage, but we are able to tear them down. So I think we're good. Yeah, we're not even taking enough damage to get past our armor generation. Which I love. I would love an upgraded thief, though. And I think we got two chests in there, too. We'll see how many items drop. Yeah, two items drop. Basher reduces our move speed, but increases our attack damage. It's a stun an enemy for two seconds. I think we're going to put that on you. And we'll put the ring on somebody. I think we put that on her and this on you. And now everybody's equipped at least. So they're they're doing something. Here's another shrine. Altar of strength. Radiate strength and power. Great sacrifices have been made here. Blessing and power characters do 100% more damage for the 10 seconds in the next fight. Uh, damage everyone by 50%. Permanently increase attack damage by 3. Or on kill characters are guaranteed to knock back on their neck. I think we're going to go sacrifice of blood just to boost our damage, and we'll just do an AoE heal at the start of the next battle. Okay, so Thief, Fighter, War Mage, I guess is what she'd be, I don't know what she's considered. She's kind of a caster slash fighter. Okay, so begin battle and immediately do your heal and your heal. And I think her heal is over time. Yeah, Nature's Bloom applies a heal over time for 48 to 83 for 7 seconds. Applies thorns for 14. Yeah. So it's a heal over time. And get back there and start taking care of their range, guys. I think we're good for now with the rest of these. I don't know. Oh, yeah, because she's ranged. Derp. Okay. I think we're good. And now he's going to just teleport. And get ourselves another bit of healing in here. Yes. Easy enough. See goal of happiness. Increase attack damage and crit. Huh. 15 crit improved attack cooldown. I think the stun effect on him is going to help out a bit more. But, 
I think we'll go with increased attack damage on the healer. Because that's just not providing much damage with just the poison. Although there are things that can trigger off the... Oh, God. Off the poison. Okay, you up there. You down there. Mage over there. And our core group up there. And hopefully we... Our characters aim at the Mycomancer. They might not. Okay, so we have Rogue ready to go behind that, so that's going to help out a ton. Okay. AoE. Do we need AoE heal yet? Not so much. We do need to do Root and Taunt. Okay, so he's going to pop back to there, and we're going to just have our characters do their work here. And I got a little paranoid there. I shouldn't have procced the heal. That's fine. There we go. And we got him. Yay! Easy mode. It's, oh, wow. How many items dropped from that? Four? Four? Thorn shield, which is armor and crit, and returns thorn damage. I think that might be better than the shield she has. 30 armor and chance to become invulnerable. Honestly, I think it might be better on... I don't know who it's going to be better on. This just gives us a ton of armor. <laughs> and we get rid of the poison thing right before getting that. This th I really wish I had a chest that I could store stuff in because I really like the thorn shield. But I don't think it's better than most of what we've got. Although... You know what? I'm going to put it on him. And I think we go for... I think we keep the unreliable armor kit. And get rid of the seagull. The seagull is awesome, though. But, I mean, it heals everyone for one when the team crits is the thing that's... You know what? Seagull on her. Get rid of the shield. Continue. I could sit there humming and hawing on that for three years. 10% chance of invulnerability is really nice. No, we're going to continue. I need to stop second-guessing myself. Got this one again. I'm going to Boon of Wood and continue. So now everyone's starting to get permanent buffs. So we have bleed, but we're fine. 30 over 5. We also have a increase everyone's damage by 3, vitalized, and vanguard. Okay, so you all are going to come to the front. Second in line, you all stay in the back, begin battle. And this guy's going to be a royal pain in the butt, but I'm going to try to get Thief back behind everybody. Drop the storm. Okay, so we're doing okay. We're not hurting a ton. And Thief guy is actually keeping a decent number of enemies distracted. Oh, nope, Thief Guy just completely got killed in, like, two hits. This is going to end badly. Yeah, we might actually die here. Because she decided to go up to the front. I am just trying to proc things as much as possible. We're not doing enough damage is the problem here. To this guy. Because he's a royal pain in the butt. And down. Holy crap. And he's back to one life. No, he's back to two life. Oh my. And we got a bleedy scythe. After anyone uses your ultimate, next damage also applies bleeding damage. Not interested in it. We got money. And thank god we didn't get another one of those big boys. 
We're finally getting to the point where we actually do enough damage to take out the Spore Boys. But they can become really bad really fast. Okay, so whenever you get... Yeah, go teleport onto them. That is your job. Teleport onto the Myconids and kill them. Do we need an AoE heal? Not yet. I think we do need to drop that. Oh, just get some thorns and heals going on there. And can we actually get a bit of work going on there? And I forget what her ability actually does. Oh, hers is a healing one as well. Healing rain. Okay, so we have three healers. I just didn't realize it because I'm a derp. For some reason, I thought it was lightning damage, but I think that's her blue. Yeah, Furious Cloud casts... Yeah, casts lightning around. So we got a helmet, which is health and crit. And a better thorn shield. Sure. Yeah, this Furious Cloud is 1122 damage. And this one is Cloud Shot. I don't think we want any of the rest of that. I think we're at our character limit. Ooh, Flora the Duelist. We lose Thief, which means we would lose... Let me move the microphone. Ah, what would we lose for that? Can I click on you? Thank you. Wouldn't lose anything on her. We would lose everybody freeze by losing him. Let's unequip that. We will throw you in the trash. Grab her, because she is fairly strong. She, we are going to lose the ability to teleport to the back, but we have a massive just upfront damage there. And improved character, of course. As we get two Myconids right away. Ugh. That's not good. I think that format is fine for us, so let's go ahead and start going at them. Hopefully we can actually rip through them. Don't mind the mini woodheads, but... Laura the Duelist. Bonk. She just basically one-shots almost anything once you get the damage up. Okay, his stun works good. Flora the Duelist is not going to be able to cut through all these guys. We are taking this guy down a little bit, just with the AoEs, so I'm good with that. Okay, she's going to jump to safety for a minute to heal up and stab. That's one reason why I wait until she's actually hurt to click on her. And we're actually surprisingly making headway. Despite two of those guys spawning on us. Okay, so do do do. She's gonna target him. Bonk. Huge chunk off of his life. Yeah, the duelist is so solid. I don't think we got anything from her though. She's arrow and stab. I don't think. Well, we needed that for you. If we get a thief again to replace one of these, we can actually activate her thorn burst, which is way better. Swiss cheese of protection, 30% chance of invulnerability. Nah. Mighty stick of stats, attack and move speed. Don't think that's better than anything our people have. What do you have on you? You have the seagull. Nah, we'll just let that get sold. We're getting gold. This is an improved version of that, I believe. No, unreliable armor is 4 to 14 armor. On attack, gain 4 to 5. What? Why is the regular one better than the other one? On heal, add... Oh, you. Yeah, I don't care about armor as much as her being gaining even more healing. Basically a life cleric now. Cool. 
Another one of these. We're going to do Sacrifice of Blood. Because more damage, more better. And thankfully, none of the big boys. I think we're good with this. Begin battle. Drop out both the heals. Even do hers. And I'm just trying to get her to do as many attacks as possible. I think... Yeah, we're making progress. We're killing off the big guys, at least. And they're not spawning as many mushrooms this time. It has become easier. Sorry for the game's audio peaking. It, it might sound like it's peaking on your end. I don't know if it will or not, but it is hitting reds on my end. But I will be turning it down in post. And just money from that. Sweet. Oh, and it's the ambush time. This one's gonna suck. Okay, so... You two down there. Which I think we need one on each side. One tank. And like that, I think? And hopefully everyone splits up and takes their own... Nope. I was hoping they'd split up and take their own big guys. Well, that was the wrong target, but that's fine. So they're going straight for our healers. It's painful, but fine. Our healers can handle them for a little while. Okay, so get more healing going. Yeah, we need frost. And I'm glad that she's going after the priest, because that's going to make these guys go down a little bit faster. Yeah, I, this this is a lot tougher of a battle than it probably looks at looks like on the surface. Just because of how tanky and damaging these guys are. But keeping them stunned and keeping our characters healed is pretty much top priority right now. What do we have going on here? Got knife, which is bleed damage for three seconds, and throwing knife. Throwing knife... I think might actually be more useful for her. She's going to be triggered a lot. Your armor thing... It's probably keeping you alive now that I think about it. Your walking stick. I think we actually go for the hammer on you now. Even though the walking stick gives her more movement speed and all that stuff, I think we're better off with that. And since she can trigger her abilities so often, she can throw out throwing knives very quickly. We can probably work on a way to buff her as well. Enemies are gaining... 25 health. We are gaining... You can either do 10 more damage. We have no commoner things and we have no thief. No! I guess we go for more damage. That was a very bad pick. Ah, uh, we have another green. It's just another guard. Would we actually gain anything from that is the question. And yes, we are getting close to the point where we're going to start losing. Nature's Bloom, heal every character that has thorns for 59. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, she has heals and damage. I don't think we swap him out. So that's shield and swirly. They're both shield and swirly. I don't think it changes anything for us. Because I actually like having Allure. I would love everybody freeze back. Claudia is probably the most sacrificable of the bunch. 
Because I don't think she's really giving us anything. She's fire and leaf. Oh, well, no, we don't need two leaf for anything. I don't think we need fire for anything. So she absolutely is the most sacrificable, although Dervish would be extremely handy. I think we unequip that. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Can we go with you for another shield? And sadly, no, we cannot combine them. So what skill did we unlock? Okay, Overgrowth on Nature's Bloom. Heal every character that has thorns for 75. So we, we get heals, we get icicle shots, we get pain. I think I would like more character slots, honestly. And that's a fine loadout. Okay, so you are going to go for Stabby Stabby, go for a big AoE heal, freeze the ones that are near us. Slam, slam... Stab. Okay, so she is crossing line. And she has a really fast cooldown. Jeez. <laughs> She's doing work with her nonsense. It's hilarious. And yes, I could use the keyboard to just trigger this, but I'm lazy and want to do it with the mouse. Okay, keep stabbing. Gotcha. Nice. Did we get better items for folks? Ooh, yes, we did. Okay, so we have Portable Smithy, which is really nice. We have Mighty Stat Stick, which is also not bad. We have another one of the Bashers. I think we want to go for the Portable Smithy. And do it on you. I think the rest of this just gets sold, sadly. Oh. How I wish I could combine things. I would love to combine these into, like, a bigger Ice Merelda. But I don't think we really have the justification to go for any of these, sadly. So we're going to have to skip them. Okay, so you, up there, there. Think that's our layout? I'm not, well, this one's not a terrible matchup, but I'm not loving it. We've got a caster in the back that's going to be a pain in the butt. And they have healers. Stab, thank you. Another stab. Big AoEs. Another stab. And getting these, the stabs and the... AoE's going is probably the top priority for me. Because she is just murking them. Jeez. <laughs> just dancing around the battlefield. One-shotting things. Jesus. Here's another one for you. 350 damage, I think, is what that said. Or that or something with 30 and 50 stacked up. Um... I don't think we want that. I think we want to stick with... Because, yeah, you have the rare version of it. So, yeah, we don't need to mess with it. I wouldn't mind more of them, but wait, I'd have to have more characters to justify it. Continue. And, yes, the snails, I'm not sure what the story is with them, but they have the feeling of being those... If you know internet stories, the if you could have a million dollars, if you and an extra intelligent snail got a million dollars, how would you, what would you do with your life? I mean, it's, I'm trying to think of how it goes. It's, no, oh, it's, if you got a million dollars in immortality and a snail got the same, but it was continuously moving towards you, and if it touched you, you'd die, what would you do? It's just one of those kind of things. I think is what it's a reference to, because it really does just come just straight for your face. Okay, she's going to keep her stabs up. I think she's just refreshing her stab every single time she does it right now. She one-shots the big guys? Holy crap, I should just get a whole team of you. And continue. Not worth it. 
But a whole team of her would be very deadly. And that's our layout there. Seems simple enough. Keep these guys in front. Keep her stabbing. Because every time she stabs, she's basically got another stab available. So three W and E are our main skills here. And we can kind of handle crowds with her ability, but I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Yeah, she's just doing 360 damage, 350 there, casually just stabbing things to death. And bloop. Okay, you are brutal, Flora. I think she might just be my carry for the entire thing. Improved attack cooldown, crit, any opponent is poisoned, add 5 to 7 per ulti per attack. Oh, God. Whoa, pedal. Ooh. I think we go for... I think we put that on hammer. 60 health versus... We go for more health and move speed. No, I think we go for what we have. None of those look promising. It's more throwing knives. If we got like a top tier throwing knife, this one's just rare. I'd actually go for that, but I don't think any of the rest of this is really that good for us. <laughs> Another one of these. We're not getting the sword ones. I got a ton of those. When I was testing this before. Don't know why he didn't take damage. Okay, so you are all going up there. She's going in second line. I think we begin that battle there. And time for the stabs. Every stab is a kill. Because she's just doing that much damage. Get her out of there just temporarily so she can heal. And I think we've got him. As long as we keep her back out of the main line. Doing her little stabby bits. Oh, she didn't get out of there in time, so now she's got to build it back up naturally. No! No! Okay, I think we've got this. Yep, yeah, we do. Wish I could set her to just auto-use it. Okay, so we got two more of those woe pedals. I think ours is like what? You, yeah, ours is epic. We don't need that. Even more. Good lord. We go there. And hope for the best. Yeah, we just begin battle with that. And I don't know what charges up each of them, but they, they, they do seem to actually have different requirements for charging. Like, I think hers is actually kills or death or damage. Because she's restoring it as soon as she stabs. She's doing enough damage to get it back, so. And there's two more items again. Keep coming at me, bros. Ooh, and we got rid of a healer there. I wish we could get rid of the summoner, but getting rid of the healers helps. Because it makes the summoner easier to get down. There you go. Stabby, stabby time. I think we've gotten our rhythm, which is bad for the length of the video, but good for the length of the video at the same time. Uh, ooh, when another character in your group crits, heal them for 5 to 10, gain 10 crit until your next turn. I think we put that instead of the seagull. So now we have healing whenever they crit, which is good. We have gold. Nope, we have garbage. Although you might be... no. I wish that was a green, because then I would replace one of these guys with it. And just have more team diversity. And 
little bit of an awkward layout by default. Let's go like that. <laughs> just nuke! I'm just kind of just watching her just enjoying just stabbing people. So brutal. Who's our next target? Boop. Next target is probably this guy. Nope, it was the mushroom. There's another one down. I wish... Yeah, her range on that is infinite, but she's... You can't choose her target. <laughs> oh, wow. You are just deadly. MVP right there. Flora the Duelist. As far as what dropped, we've got a heavy anvil. Uh, if it didn't impact our move speed, I'd consider using it, but it's not good for any of our characters currently, so. Guess we just get more. And I think we already have a green thorn shield on you. Yeah, we already have a green thorn shield on you. Double the hero's damage for one attack. No, none of that's good. Need to, you need to up your game game. More attack. <laughs> more deadly power. We require more assault. Okay, so you guys are going to spread out up here. Hoping that'll make her target this one over here. We're going to knock over the cow. Begin. Heal. Heal. And nah, she's not gonna get just free destruction. Okay, and I'm actually gonna use other characters' abilities too, <laughs> eventually. Just keep dropping heals and thorns on people. People are hurting. It's not like we're not taking damage here. We're just dishing out way more than we're taking. I need heals. Come on, give me heals. I mean, we're better off than what we started the battle at. And no on the poison. Another ambush? I'm not as weary about this one. Though I probably should be. Okay, so. She's not up to her thing yet. So we're just going to have to keep her alive for now. Until she gets her charge going. In which case, it's time to start nuking. And she's going straight for the priests. Jeez. Good job. She's just the assassin. Good lord. Every single time I click it, just... Oh, it doesn't kill the big guys. Okay. That's at least a plus. It's not a one shot on these guys. So we're not just completely immortal as long as she's alive. But you can see, it takes off, like, half their life. And we're good. Over a thousand gold already. Goodness. And day two is done. There is actually an improvement that lets you get bonuses based on the number of days, but I don't remember where it's at. <laughs> I think it's just one of the intermediate ones that we get whenever we're going through these stages right here. Oh no! As far as us, all heroes get attack damage. Or more... This is an average of 10 attack damage, though. I think... Now let's go ahead and grab that one. I think that just applies to him. I don't think it's a piece of equipment. Just getting all the sacrifices of blood going here. We have, what, five of them? Oh, and it's one of you again. Hi. And this one's kind of fun, too. Rose of the Red. But we haven't really been able to fit her in yet. I think I'd have to go for more of a caster build for that. Instead of a stab build. I would love to do a build just, like, explicitly around Floor of the Duelist, which means getting two elementalists and then whatever you get here. <laughs> Sorry. 
Elementals, if we get a green, would come with nature. The book, I think, is coming from you? Yeah, from Blossom. Just have a build around those would be fun. Okay. All of you are in and ready to go, so time to stab. Just go for death and destruction. Just nuking every last one of them. Yeah, you guys need to do your stuns. I think she goes after the lowest health target. So that might be why she was having trouble targeting these guys instead of the priests. Be wrong. Uh, oh, that is an improved one. Group heal for them. Okay, whenever they crit, heal them for 20 to 30. Yes, please. And what does yours actually have on heal add 3 to 4? I think we're going to go for this. So now we have multi-stacking on that healing. I'm kind of sad about this, but it's a common. We'll see it again. Oh, and a legendary one. So it's book, smoke, and crown. Do we replace Esmeralda with that? She's shield and cloud. So we would lose one shield for that. Which means we would lose what? Overgrowth. I mean, I'm actually kind of fine with that. I think we unequip that. Getting rid of our original character. I'm sad. Getting you. Okay, so you don't have any abilities unlocked, but Magical Mayhem, Wisp Missile, Blam. We have offense in the form of her, and I think it's going to be better than Ice Lady because we just weren't using her very much for her abilities. We are still using the healers. We are still using the tanks, although I would like to replace one of them with something better, but it still works. I get messages about. One second. Bite me. <laughs> Let's see. We'll throw you guys there. And I think I'm going to keep her back just a little bit. And be as aggressive as possible here. We need to get her combo up again. Just do as much damage. There we go. Oh, no. You don't die on me. Okay, just keep doing your stabs. As long as she's moving back and forth, I think we can keep her safe. Use your ability, please. Thank you. I don't think she... Oh, I don't think she triggered her ability. We were trying to use it. I think she might have been rooted. I just didn't notice. There you go. Good job. Nice murder. Which gives us Otaku Katana, move speed, improved attack cooldown, and Vigilant Razor. I think we go 7 to 30 attack damage versus 10 to 15. He's got Thorn Shield, so I think we definitely want to keep that on him. Honestly, I don't think we replace anything with that. I mean, we can do the movement on it. It's not going to really change too much, but I think I prefer having the crit. So we sell those. Here's the sword one. Everyone receives it, and a random character has their health set to 15. Ugh. On ability use, oh, 5% chance to heal for 10. Sure, we'll go for that. Three random. It's always the first three. It's very strange how random that is. Okay, and we don't have an immediate heal, so this could be this could be our death. Uh, 
Keep stabbing. I don't know why she appeared on the left there. Keep going. Just keep taking out the other threats and we'll, we'll deal with the big guy in a minute. Got him. I don't know what that is right there, but I think it's a magic missile of some sort. After activating your ability, add 40% of your armor to your next attack. I don't know who all has a lot of armor. 150, 99. So I think these guys would have the most armor. I think part of his is from Thorn Shield. Yeah. Hmm. I think we could equip it on her. Yeah, she doesn't have a ton of armor, but an extra 99 on her attack would be... Actually, no, it would be an extra about 50 on her attack. Would still be pretty gnarly. Yeah, I think we do that. And I don't think we worry about the knife throws. Bye, knife! Watch that have been the thing that's actually giving us all of our crap there. Yep, this is a fine starter. Another stab. Another stab. Get out of the fight as soon as possible. Blech. Yeah, I need to keep her triggering her ability as much as possible so she's not in the fight as much as possible. Okay, so, ooh, yeah, our healer is actually getting the crap beat out of them as well. Boom. Okay, you need to just back off and stab. Oh, and I think what's causing her to lose her ability is we're stabbing something, and it's actually dying before she gets to get there. Because we're doing decent damage. You can see pretty big numbers popping up, even from the not murder hobo character here, Flora the Duelist. And no, we don't need that. We've seen a few of those already. That is attack speed, move speed, and damage. I don't think it's better than what we have. Continue on. They just haven't been as compelling. Yeah, we'll go for that. Who got... Okay, only two of them? That's fine. This, however, is not... Now let's swap you, because I'd rather have my healers be a little bit further apart. Get the heals going in. Yeah, get her stabby stabbing. And I think she really does just target the lowest life one, unfortunately, which means that it's the most likely to die to our rambunctious stabbing. Use your ability, please, for the love of God. Okay, we need more heals coming in as well. I think we're doing okay. And little guy dies. And now time for big guy. 440. Good lord. My Lanta. Anything good from you? Uh... Vigilant Razor also applies 40 bleeding over 3 seconds. Eh, that's not bad, but we're not doing a bleeding build. And you don't need to be in the front line. Thank you. Stab? She didn't stab anything. Oh, the ravens are what came near us. That's why. That would be it. Okay, so she's going to start building her stuff up. We can see what the target is going to be just by hovering over her, but I really do think it is just the weakest target. Or is it? I can't tell who the target is supposed to be on it. 
And I think she's stuck there, unfortunately. So we're doing this without her. Our biggest damage dealer is pretty much out of the fight right now because she's stuck. <laughs> Oof. Do the AoEs heal. Yeah, she's not even building up her stuff now because she can't get into the fight. That's sad. There's another healer down, which is good for us. Yeah, these guys are still healers. I do love just staggering these guys. See, we don't need her. We're strong. We're capable fighters. We don't need a win button. Actually, a win button is fairly nice to have. This is going to take forever to get through all these Myconids and get up to this guy. But we got him. Okay, so now it's just literally walk up and stab. Yeah, she just can't find her way off of that square. <laughs> got him. And did we get anything good from it? We got throwing dagger, a better one. 30, 25 to 35. Oof. I think we go ahead and replace that just because it's more consistent. Any golds? Nope. We do have a Claudia. Is fire and green, which would actually work well with her. Give her Wisp Wish. I'm creating Wisp, there's a 25% chance the creature to create a Wish Wisp. It adds one to the ulti charge when her allies. <coughs> Charge of her allies when activating magical mayhem. I think we'll pass on that. No, I think we're good with this party. If we had a green soldier, we would have actually gone for that, but. I think this is our formation here. Okay, yeah, she can move. Okay, keep stabbing. You handle the threats. It's really hard to see in the hecticness of battle where the stab is going to be because I'm just having to just click on it and hope it goes for a good target. She's just marking everybody. It's insane how much different this battle is now that she can move. I don't know how many days we're going to get to with her because she really is just that bloody brutal. It's crazy. There's another one. 25 to 35. Do we do that instead of thorns on him? Just have them help do some bonus damage? You know what? I think I'll try it. Because you only die once. And sword upgrade is <laughs> doing this again. We're going to go for sacrifice of combat. Sure, we're, we're getting all of these in clusters. It's only doing two characters, which is really weird to me. Okay, so you all can go up front. Mage and Green are the ones that are not doing too well right now. Now for the stabs. I think it really is just as long as she kills someone, she gets refreshed. If she really was not building up whenever she didn't have that ability to actually reach enemies. 910 down. Jesus. On a crit, she does almost a thousand damage. <laughs> Dave, Doug, and Dapper Dan, damn it. Okay, so you, there, there, and there, and we do like usual. Stun. Get rid of all of their healer boys. See you later, boys. Yeah, and since she didn't kill it, she didn't get her recovery there. Oh, I clicked that too early. Okay, we're doing okay now. They just do so much damage, it's ridiculous. Yeah, 
Heal, heal. Thank you. Well, didn't quite get these two, but we'll be okay. Bloody sword can go away. Just wait for it to pop up. And I think I think we're we've got our win button. I'm just curious how much further we can go. We've already been going for an hour. And this is how games like this do. You'll snowball and then it's just ridiculous. That's gonna stop us. <laughs> we can get Gollum skin for everybody. Get bolt. One of these is just straight up better than the other one, so we'll go Gollum skin. Golem. Jalem skin. Just because it pisses people off when I mispronounce Gollum. Don't care about anything that's not rare or higher. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just doesn't do it for me. And since we rested, we're all completely healed. Before we forget, tip the cows! Oh, and turn on the light. <laughs> we're doing okay, we're just murking everything. Not the end of the world for us, at least. And that's not enough to kill those guys. It brings them down, it cuts through their entirety of armor and does a huge chunk of damage to their life, but it's not enough to kill them in one shot. So we need to solve that. We need more damage for her. We need more damage. Get to the chopper. Okay. Oh, wow, we can get up right in your face. Hi, guy. How you diddly do there, good neighbor? Gosh, golly, gee willikers. Stun! Stun again! Boost the speed so this goes a little quicker. <laughs> and yes, if it gets too fast, we can actually slow it back down. It's not a big issue. And yeah, she's getting stalled by the enemy she's targeting dying. Easy move. Especially since we have more armor than them now. And they're all common. Why is it not giving me rares anymore? On attack, every character has a chance to give three armor to the most wounded character. You know what? We're going to start taking the pendants instead of the wood. Because I think it's going to help out more in keeping us from getting just completely damaged. And yes, things that scale with armor are going to get better as we get further in. So I might keep start keeping an eye out for that. Just like nuking everything. Good lord. I don't even have to like really think. It's just literally click on Flora. Uh, no. I think same strategy. And we are getting more of these big guys, I am noticing. And that little guy is getting irritating. He does AoE, it looks like. That one we ended up taking damage on. Which is not something I wanted. Got stick, we've got the basher green. If we had basher yellow there, I'd consider it. Another one of you. I am going to go. Permanently increase attack damage by everyone by three. Sure. We have a heal available. Keep stabbing. Rid of all the annoying guys first, and then go after big boy. Is it gold? It is not. It is another common. And we're already back up to almost full life. It's one advantage of having a ton of healers. Well, we only have two. I have done runs where I just basically couldn't die because I had so much healing, and they 
wouldn't die either because we had so little damage. Because one healer was keeping up with my damage. <laughs> Get him. Stab. 1,030 crit. Yay. And yeah, as long as she's alive, we... I don't think we can lose. So I don't know if there's a point in going even more laps. Oh, and we got one of these. I actually haven't gotten to show one of these off yet. This is a vertical map. With um, horizontal cows. There we go. And go. Do I... Yeah, I'll just use my win button. Because I am curious if there is an end... This is endless mode, but I am curious if it'll eventually get to the point where she just can't keep up. They are actually killing things faster than she can get to them. There we go. Good job. But yeah, they killed a few things before she could get to them, so it was just like, nah, you now cannot do anything. But she's got an epic 125 to 35. Do we go for another epic? Which I think I'll go for it on her. Just go for all the dagger bits. Straight up. And no, that axe is not worth it. Every character has a 5% chance to give... Okay, yeah, we'll do another boon of penance. Because that gives us... Two of those so far? Yeah, that gives us two of them so far. That's not bad. I wish these would compact and give us a multiplier. Just for display purposes, because it's going to get obscene once we get off to the edge of the screen. <laughs> Do, do, do. Get you guys going. Stabby, stabby. I think that's the best we can do. Okay, so Priest is down. She is doing her job. Got him. Anything good from you? Nope, just a common. I do think that games like this need to have scaling on that. It's more of you guys. I'm getting tired of seeing you. Can't you realize you cannot win? So they probably will eventually be the ones that kill me. Three stabs and all their healing is gone. Stun. Stun. Thorns. Hit him with all the little magical maelstrom. That one's not bad. They're still grunting as they're dying. And we're already... Wow, we're getting faster at going through these. That was a 10-minute round. We're only on day, what, four or five. Knock over the cat. And yes, those guys react too. Eh, extra damage on their side is not bad. I think we go for... Not to be confused with a boulevard, though technically they're the same. What? I think we go for more attack in general. Although we are killing things, let's go for more bulwark. Keep our survivability up. Do we get... Oh, no. I was going to say, if we get a gold flora, that would have been awesome. What does Flo she needs commoner? He is commoner. We'd only lose. I'm trying to think what we would lose. I don't think we'd lose anything. Unequip that. And I think we throw away Rose of the Red, even though she's an epic. Just to unlock Dervish. The Spencer's Whirl is her blue ability.
on we go. And he now we have good ways to target the back line as well as... I don't know why it keeps putting that in one. Oh, I think I know why. Never mind. I just realized as we replaced, that's the slot that had the Ice Morelda in it. So it's just replacing the Ice Morelda each time. Okay, begin fight. W on you. More stabs. You get to go to the back line. Get him back behind her. AoE slams just to stun him. Got him. Nice. Not a gold one there. That sucks. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, nothing that's an improvement here. Yeah, all I'm looking for now is improvements, because she has even... Oh, wait. No, she l we lost Area of Effect. So, no, we don't have her Flourish ability. It's still... We're fine with this build. This character slot can be anything right now. As long as we have two healers and this batch, I think we are just essentially immortal. Ew, that... that oh. Whenever we murdered them... Yeah, just keep clearing out the trash. It's fine. And I think we win. With our win button. Pfft. Not even a crit. 609 damage. What is that? Every second do 12 to 24 damage in an area of effect range 10? I think we do replace that. Yeah, there's just nothing that I can really do that's better than that. That's just insane. Um, I think we go for Sacrifice of Combat again. Just because, I mean, it's just better. Because that's give each one of those is giving us a five percent chance. We have one, two, three, four of them. So it's just why would I do anything else? So you guys need to get in the front line. You are going to be back there. She's going to be up there. We're going to do AOE heal and send her in to start taking out their priests. Your backstab going. And yeah, she is literally just one-shotting things. And as far as playing this, it is a bit more difficult to tell everything that's going on while still watching when these are available down here. Because my face cannot look in 12 different directions at once. 3 to 5 health per second. Not worth it. There we go. Our line of pain. And yeah, he's just going to distract the back line. That's going to be his job from here on out. Just keep things from moving forward so that she can just kind of organize her stabs. Oh, and he would move to the front if I did that one. Oh, he did. <laughs> it's fine. He's not that important. Oh, no. She didn't kill on that hit. For shame. She didn't kill on that hit, so she wasn't able to get her ability back up. We timed it poorly. There's another gold throwing knife. You have... Yeah, you have gold... Everyone who has one so far has gold. I don't think we want to swap those out. Yeah, I think we're good with what we have. Which is weird to say. 
more penance. We're almost there. Actually, I think it might be scrolling off the left side of this. No, it doesn't look like it, actually. You. Yeah, that should be fine. Keep your stabs going. And you just start taking out the rogues. Oh no, she didn't kill whatever she was targeting. Damn you again. Still fine. Tip the cows, tip the cows. Tip your waiters. Uh, common one, no. Stick with the legendary that actually does damage. Time for the rearrangement again. Yeah, for the most part, the enemies are not that scary right now. It's very weird for me. Usually I am like, this is going to be a horrible. We're going to suffer immensely from this. Can you actually target the healer guy back there? That would be awesome. Or you can keep going after the weird numpties. Oh, where did he die at? I don't even see your corpse. Keep stabbing. Oh, she... No! This might be our death. We just lost our win button. To this guy. Because he does a shit ton of damage. But we got rid of him. And our healer is still fine. Their healer is still fine as well. This could end poorly. I mean, we are moving forward. But we are taking more damage than we're healing. Which is... Not good. And they're getting knocked back now, unfortunately. Did they kill? No, I think the guy is just behind. Yeah, he's just behind him, I think. Because I have a feeling they're still getting healed. I would need to... Uh, the yellow flash might be these guys. Oh no, the AoEs are actually still damaging them, okay. Heal? Yeah, this one is a lot closer than I wanted. Got him. Yeesh. That was bad. None of the rest of that is wanted. Okay, what do you have? Do you have a gold? Nope, you have garbage. Okay, I think we can take these. We just need to not send her right into the, like, fray of everything. Let her come back and just fight on her own terms. I think we're okay. Okay, we need to get rid of this guy right here. ASAP. Just so that he stops healing them. I do think that AoE fire thing is actually doing a lot more work now that we're being overwhelmed. There we go. What the unholy hell are you? If an opponent is bleeding, heal 14 to 18 per attack. Nope. We don't do bleeding, otherwise I would be all for that. Armor on kill damage all enemies for 25 to 30, I think. You know what? We're going to actually swap that out for what she has. Because she is getting kills. And let's see how that works out. 
I'm gonna go for... Sacrifice of Blood again. Not that everybody's taking damage from it or anything, it's just... It, it's very random. Very, very random. Oh wow, that is so effective. She really is just one-shotting everything that's causing them to get weak enough that she can one-shot everything else. So ridiculous. You are broken. Laura the Duelist, you are immortal. And we're back to these guys. Dapper Dan Man, damn it. I'm not a Dapper Dan Man, damn it. Okay, so you are going to need to tank there. Because she's going to be... Uh, oh, no, she can't go off and do her own thing. Because, unfortunately, she doesn't have her charges up. We're just having to do what we can until she gets them up. Okay. There's her charge. And... Death. And yeah, that guy doesn't stand a chance. We don't even need to use the ability on him. I can save it for the actual fights. Oh no, we're on another loop. Why? And no, things are not falling off the edge of the screen. We're just not quite there to the right. I would love the one that gives us plus 10 attack per loop. Yeah, that's fine. Every day you've completed, adventures do 10 more damage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. We've completed seven days. That's an extra 70 damage. What is her damage at? 85 to 92. So, and that's, it's got some kind of multiplier on it. I'm just not sure. Because it's doing hundreds of damage. But we're at an hour and a half in, so we'll do a couple fights and then call it. Let's see what she can do. I just want to see how much damage she does. Um, 600 damage there. 720, and then she does 32 to everything else. 690. She's doing 700 damage. Just straight to their face. That is so broken. Oh, now we have a golden fingers. But guess what? You're getting replaced by better. Did we actually unlock any skills with that? I don't think so. Oh no, we got defensive strike. Groovy. So both of our city guards have everything unlocked, which is awesome. Don't have everything unlocked for either of them, but that's fine. This, this is getting ridiculous, is what it's getting. And if you have the too many characters bug, this is actually... And I think they've actually patched it. If you have the too many characters bug, this is the one where you can't actually put everybody on their spots. So it soft locks it. Yeah, let's do this one last fight. How long to murder? Not very long. Because the AoE is doing 200 damage as well. So I think we've won. So I guess I'll just say keep gaming, have fun, peace out. This has been Alzrath, and I will see you guys next time.